Hey, how's it going boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another GBF Uni uh, thingy. So this time we have the light version. So I'm pretty sure by now if you have already watched all the previous ones, uh, or if you haven't yet, this is basically a video of me telling you which weapon is good to have or not. Whether or not is it maybe shit, like you can probably reduce it kind of thing. But for the most part, once again, I think I forgot to mention this uh, in a previous video actually. <laughs> um, for the most part, gacha weapons you should not it's better not to reduce unless it's really 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 shit i probably will mention that and you can probably reduce that but the the, the go-to saying is that you should not reduce any gacha weapons because most of the time especially weapons that does not have full limit break yet you should not reduce that because uh most likely there is a chance that down sometime down the road we're gonna get a full limit break upgrade on them so yes um, other than that, uh, for now, I'm just going to go through like the, the raids from, you know, the, the raids right now on the screen. And then I'm just going to go through like every single one of the uh, the weapons in via wiki. So, strap in. It's going to be a long video. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we have light now. So we have uh, Chef. Okay, so Chef Swords is obviously still a thing, especially if you're Magna. Chef Sword is always going to be a thing no matter what just because of how freaking strong this thing is because it gives you so much raw damage it gives you so much HP as well excuse me and you can't really go wrong with that at all uh, the axe you can typically ignore the gun and the harp you probably kind of want to keep though you kind of want to keep just in case because if you get uh an AX, uh, good AX on them, you probably want to slot this in. Especially for like the, uh, the, the even like end game right now, people are still using Chef Harps because of uh, Harmonia's. Harmo what Harmonia is, is basically uh, the Grand Uni's weapon. It's the, basically the PNS tier uh, type of weapon where you get extra voltage uh, or EX mods whenever you equip more Harps. So you don't really have like a lot of, you know, really strong like damage harps or some shit for uh light so that's why a lot of times you just use uh magna and then you just have like stamina mod on the chef harps which can be good as well and there's also like some some particular setups are also running chef harps with admiti as well so i just want to point that out there's more it's very likely it's better for you to keep them because uh you probably want to like uh just have quite a few amount just so you can uh, just insert your AX or whatever later on kind of thing. So maybe two each or something. Two stamina, two MET. I think that's kind of like a thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, next we have uh, Odin. So for Odin's weapons, right? The shoe. The shoe is pretty good because this is like the uh, the farmable garrison and then you get MET as well out of it. It's pretty handy when it comes to like, you know, the high end raid stuff. You know, if you want the extra defenses and then you want to uh, somewhat do damage as well at the same time when your HP is on the lower side. Yeah, it's pretty good to have, right? Because, you know, MET garrison together kind of thing. You know, it's like the same as like Majestas, Dark Trashes, you know, those... Uh, faceless you know those farmable ones this is, this is basically like the lights version of it this one it's kind of whatever like the spear is kind of whatever you can keep one of them just for the fun of it if you want to but honestly it's kind of i don't think you'll miss it as all at all if you actually reduce this somehow plus not to mention i think you can get ax for this as well <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty good you can get ax skills on uh, on that as well so that's pretty handy and then uh, we are going to Magna 2. So Magna 2 is a little bit different for light. Um, typically for light, this dagger, Metatron dagger and Metatron fist, you can typically ignore this two because they're pretty shit. <laughs> they are pretty bad weapons, so you can just reduce them. I don't think you need to keep any, uh, any of these, to be honest. But uh, for the other two, which is the bow and the spear, these two, these two are basically needed if you are trying to build the uh, the crit ver ver version of the Magna grid, right? If you're not going with the the Chef Sword stuff, you def you definitely need these two. 
you need like multiple of these two like what two of these two three of these or something like that I, you just need quite a like more than one of these that's for sure you need like basically two each minimum maybe you need three of these i don't remember but yeah two of each is definitely something that you can uh make do with but i honestly do not recommend going through this route it's really just better for you just stick with uh going with uh, chef swords to be honest the chef sword grid is definitely the way to go just because that you 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 already have enough damage right you got the damage already and at the same time you're getting uh, a lot of hp out of that as well in other words you just need to slot that shit in and then you put your your, your cosmos or whatever stuff your opus blah 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 all the other shit and you just get a lot of uh hp and you get like all the your raw damage has already been included in it's pretty pretty nice as well and then you can also technically even still include like harmonious as well if you want to in there yeah but i'll get to that later so yeah just uh just it's much better to just focus on that okay um next we have uh the enids the enids is also pretty good oops the enids for light is also pretty damn good because uh the katanas in general are the ones that people use for the otk stuff like if you want ogi and shit this one is actually really helpful because you know this is excelsior yeah so it's pretty handy and then you get like the uh the awakening and all that stuff it does help out a lot in uh to give you like either your raw damage or gives you like more uh like extra cap or whatnot so it's, pr it's pretty handy um if i recall correctly people were running the the bow for like um forgot what was it bow was the no harmonia cope oh was it yeah i think so <laughs> i think that was the one yeah because i remember this was like the thing where if you do not have like that particular weapon which is i guess it's harmonia you run this instead i remember this but i just didn't remember which weapon it was but yeah thank you chat i don't think people really run apollo bow though there are wait no there are actually very very small amount like very very rare cases people actually run apollo bows but it's so small that you don't really need to keep them. <laughs> you know? But I guess if you want, just keep one of each and the rest is just throw it away or something. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that uh, you don't really need. Okay. Um, so for this one, right? This one is actually not too bad to have. I remember I was running this a long time ago where I just wanted to get extra uh, supplemental on the crit or whatever shit. So it's, it's kind of handy, right? It gives you extra, like, it gives me extra crit too, isn't it? So it's kind of hand, it's kind of helpful. It's okay to have, like, one of it. The, the rest of it, anything more, you can just kind of ignore, though. You can just throw that shit away. Uh, yep, that's it. And then for dragon. The dragon's weapon is also, like, the same thing as the, uh, the previous one. Like, the Malice's weapon. Honestly, just having one is already more than enough. You can just ignore it. I don't think you really need a lot a lot of this weapon at all. Typically, I feel like a lot of this, you just either use it as main hand or you just have like the extra, you know, just, just slot one in kind of thing. I really don't suggest you to tr just try to get a, like a lot of them. Oh yeah, we do not have a revance for fucking light yet. <laughs> so we don't have a weapon for that. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess that's it for the raid stuff um now we go into wiki for now uh let me go to wiki real quick flashbang all right so for light let's go over to the other stuff uh this is the bunker weapon which is the uh up what oh, is not apollo um what's what is that yeah what's the guy's name again hector yes hector <laughs> Yeah, so this is Hector's weapon. It used to be a thing, not anymore though. It's like super dated now, so it can typically ignore this now. Uh, yeah, Gold Moon weapon can ignore. This one, I think I already mentioned that earlier. Ignore that, ignore that class weapon. This one is also a class weapon. Wait, who is this? <laughs> oh, this Gold Moon weapon. Okay, you can ignore that. Uh, Edmar, you can ignore. This one is uh, event weapon, you can ignore. This is Lunalu or something. 
No, this is an event weapon. You can ignore that. Ignore, ignore. This is the uh, Yukata Potato weapon. This one you can ignore as well. Uh, Apollo Bow, you can ignore this. This one is the uh, Hector Bow as well, I think. Yeah. Hector Bow is actually, I remember it's okay just because he has this, but typically you don't really need this anymore anyway. But yeah, if you, can, if you want, you can just keep one of them. I don't think it's a big deal. Whose is this? I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty shit. You can ignore. Um, this one you can ignore. This is uh, the OG John's weapon. You can ignore that too because it's holy shit. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is one of those weapons you can safely reduce as well because it looks really fucking bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, this one I have what? Julia's weapon. Yeah, you can typically re uh, ignore this as well. Uh, this is Grand Vira's weapon certificates. This is basically the Ogi oriented weapon. You only use this if you want to have, get a little bit of Ogi. So like, you know, for your full auto stuff, having one of these is definitely enough. I don't think you really want to put like multiple of this. One of this is 100% more than enough. You don't want to have more than one of these. Uh, next is you ignore that, you ignore that, you ignore that. Whose is this? Who? Oh, event weapon you can ignore. This is uh, Grand Potato's weapon. I uh, know Grand Potato, this is Light Potato's weapon. So I think people only use this because of this. So her weapon is actually not too bad if you still haven't kept on your supplemental stuff yet, like this thing. If you haven't kept it yet, this one is actually good to have. It's not too bad. So this is kind of, it can be kind of like your budget version of like just having a little bit of supplemental crit. This is a event weapon, I think. Is it? No, it's not. Zeta's weapon. Oh my God, it's so bad. <laughs> uh, This one is, who? Arthur's weapon. Wow, Ogi, Ogi and Garrison, wow. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's really that great either. So you can just ignore that for now. Is this Gold Moon weapon? No. That looks so bad too, holy shit. For a Cosmos weapon, you can typically only really need the sword for the most part. I think the sword is really the one that really being used the most. Uh, the rest, I don't think is really that important to have. I think there are some people that still uses like the, uh, the katana. But for the most part, I think the one that really being fully utilized is the sword. Maybe, maybe, maybe stick. You know, maybe the stick is useful, but like, I think for this, it's one of those things where you will only, I feel like you only get these when you need it, you know. As for how this weapon works, is basically, it's, it's just giving you a lot of raw stats based on how many of the same weapon types it has. So it's like, say for example, like, like sword, right? It works really well for light magna because light magna has a lot of swords, right? So it's, it gives you extra raw stats and that a bit of damage kept based on uh, how many weapon you have on that one. I think it's 1% each or something. Yeah, 1% each. Yeah, so it's 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 kind of it's kind of whatever. You just get basically the ones that you need and uh whenever you need basically. Yeah. Uh this one is her less, I think. Yeah, some of her less, can ignore. Um, can okay, ignore this, uh, class weapon you can ignore, ignore, uh, is this an event weapon? Oh my god, it's a character's weapon, Jesus <laughs> This what is this man, holy shit, it's so bad. <laughs> um, this is an EX, uh, imi uh, you can just typically ignore it, event weapons usually you just ignore though. Uh, this is an event weapon as well, I think. Yeah, you can ignore that. Event weapon, you can ignore. This is uh, one of the... Yeah. You can ignore that too. Monkey's weapon. Uh, draconic, once again. Draconic is always good to have if you're trying to go on onto the defensive side of things. If you want to get like the... Uh, the uh, What's that? Um, the elemental uh, redu damage reduction kind of thing is actually very very helpful to have so 
The only problem with this is that you need to swap your opus with this. So this is mostly just for um, high-end stuff, you know. But uh, even so, we don't we, we don't really farm Agastya, so there's really no reason for you to use this. <laughs> I mean, even in like Super Baha, I don't think you really need that though. Anyway, yeah. So okay, Eden. All right. Grand Lucio's weapon. So Eden until to this day is still definitely gonna be used. As for how many though, it varies a lot. <laughs> there are grids for one all the way to four. The one that that uses four is kind of like the ones like you use for like Super Baha Relic Buster stuff. It's really just up to you how many you want to go for. I think like the 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 the, the base stuff that a lot of times you tend to see is just like two. Two Edens is kind of like the safe side. There are some other grids that people tend to use that only requires only one uh, Eden anyway. But that just really depends on what kind of uh, what kind of grid you are using, right? So yeah, it varies basically from one all the way to four. So it's, you don't use five like ever. Wait. You know, it's funny because I think uh, my crewmate does run five Edens. <laughs> I think he runs five Edens. I think it's Mr. T. Yeah, if I recall correctly, I think it's Mr. T that runs five Edens in like his Relic Buster setup or something in Super Baha. Just because he's missing some other weapon, so he just runs he just runs another Eden and it still works for him, so why not I guess? But for the most part, just having like one to four should be fine anyway, yeah. Uh Guild War weapon you can ignore. Is this a Goomun weapon? No, slight Sarah's weapon. Okay, you can ignore that. It looks pretty shit. Uh, Fairy's weapon, you can kind of ignore as well. It's not really that great, to be honest. And then, uh, yeah, you can ignore that. You can ignore that. This one is uh, Florence's weapon, I think. Is it? Yep. Yeah, you can typically ignore as well. You're only using her for the character, not the weapon. Uh, Guild War, you can ignore. Xeno. Okay, so for once again, for Xeno, it's very, very nice to have if you have uh, one of each. But... I think the sword is basically the much better one because the sword has like really really good uh as like a main hand the sword is really nice even i would even say the gun main hand purpose is also pretty good but i do think that sword is a lot better though because if you go over to the sword because you get to get this when you have a mate when you're using this as your main weapon you get extra extra stamina base or your mc's hp and you get extra uplift as well. It's pretty handy, right? So yeah, it's a really, really nice uh, main hand uh, weapon for Xeno. But once again, just get one of each, you should be fine. Um, this one is an event weapon, I think. Yeah, it's an event weapon. You can ignore that. You can ignore this. Ignore that. This is Silva's weapon. I think you can ignore as well. Yeah, you can typically ignore as well. It's not really that great. I mean, you can kind of use it, but... Yeah, it's pretty whatever though, especially like if you really want skill damage kind of thing, it's kind of fixed already in a way on what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it soon. And then this is what? Clary's Light. Oh, that's pretty shit. This is the Golmoon weapon. You can ignore Golmoon weapon. Gamba's weapon. Oh, okay. Grand EO. So Gamba Teen. So people were using this for because of the uh, this thing. So for this one in particular, I feel like people and most only really use one. I don't really see a lot of people using two of these. Yeah. So just one is already more than enough because you get the... The only thing you really get... You know, it's like, dude, this is almost as bad as Merc, basically. <laughs> you know? But people only use it because of the, the extra awakening bullshit that we have nowadays. Uh, this one is event weapon, I think you can ignore. This one is uh, Nicholas, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you can typically ignore that as well. Uh, this one is an event weapon you can ignore. This one is event as... W this is the... What makes the sky blue or something? Yeah, what makes the sky blue? Event weapon. Guild War weapon you can ignore. Whose is this? I don't remember. Oh, event as well. You can ignore that. Guild War weapon you can ignore. This is Guild Go Moon weapon you can ignore. Guild War. Guild War you can ignore. This one you can typically ignore as well. <laughs> yeah, this one you use it as a fucking... You know, skin. This one as well. You can ignore all this. You can ignore all this. Um, this one is the maids, I think. Do they even use this shit? No, they don't. 
Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, wow. I've not seen this in fucking forever, but yeah, I guess if you have that, sure, I suppose. Um, this is a class weapon, I think. This one is, uh, I think I already mentioned this. This is a class weapon as well, I think. This one is the uh, Init weapon I already mentioned. Oh, there, here we go. Harmonia! So this is Grand Uni's weapon. So this is the PNS thing for light. And the most... Actually, you know, it's funny. The most I remember I saw it was tree. <laughs> I did remember seeing 3 before, but uh, for the most part, you just want to run 2. You just run 2, because this kind of weapon usually works well with just 2 anyway. You don't really run more than that. I do not know why sometimes, uh, like, there are, I mean, because you can get extra, like, the, the, the cap thing, because you haven't really capped it anyway. Some people run 3 just because of that, but they also run it just because of this, I guess, I suppose, but... Yeah, you 2 should be good. <laughs> Uh, Seraphic, you just run one, I mean, it's either you run Seraphic or uh, Ultima anyway, so you just have one, I'm pretty sure if you have it, you just use it. If not, uh, just ignore it. You need weapon, you can, uh, I already mentioned that, this one is... Oh my god, this one is so bad, it's a light, it's a light weapon. Albert, Hoji Albert's weapon. It's a light weapon, you only get is this thing. And multi-attack. This one is fucking fire. <laughs> This oops. This one is pretty fucking bad, man. You can. I'm pretty sure this one you can reduce as well if you want to. <laughs> I don't think you're missing out by reducing this. This is pretty fucking bad, man. <laughs> um, who's is this? Ladiva or something? Yeah, it is. Uh, pretty shit as well. Uh, is this a Goldman weapon or something? Oh, this is a event weapon. Yeah, okay. Ignore that. Militus weapons. Yeah, I think I already mentioned before. You should never reduce them. You should always keep every single one of your Militus weapon that you have. And if you want to combine, I think that's fine as well. But you should never ever reduce them because they have not gotten full moment break yet. And we don't know whether is it going to be super OP later on. Class weapon, you can ignore, ignore, ignore. Uh, this is uh, Fina. Wow, look at that light and wind attack, bro. Both specialty allies triple attack. So bad, dude. <laughs> so bad! <laughs> I think you can reduce this too if you want to. Hollow Sky. So Hollow Sky weapons, I think I already mentioned it a lot of times as well. But if you want to know, you can get it if you want to. Sometimes you can just, you just use it if you can uh, make use of it because it's very... Uh, reliant on your weapon types for your allies so this is one of those weapons where you can kind of make use of it but even if you don't make use of it you don't i feel like you don't really lose out that much so i feel like you can typically just ignore it but if you want to get it sure it's not really that hard to get anyway um is this an event weapon yes ignore uh, Feather's weapon can be used as like a main hand for your wrestler stuff because you can get extra this one. But if I recall correctly, this sometimes doesn't stack with. Yeah. Yeah, see, this. It doesn't really like stack. Excuse me, with like a lot of other stuff. It has very similar stuff as this. So it's like it just takes the highest. So if there's some other ones that is very similar as this, that is a higher percentage, they will take that instead of instead of this, right? So yeah, you just use this or main hand if you do not have any other ones. This one you can probably reduce. Dude. <laughs> oh serial's weapon, man. Wow. Dude, Light has a lot of these weapons, man. My god, man. Yeah, you can reduce this. I think you're fine in reducing them. <laughs> uh, Huan Long. Oh, this one is also pretty good to have in your grid too, I think. Sometimes. Because you can reduce dark damage. It's pretty handy. Very nice. Especially if you do not have uh, Draconic equipped. This one is also another weapon from uh, Huan Long. That you can kind of use in your grid because he has... Pretty decent stats, like I'm pretty decent uh, weapon skills anyway, so as you can kind of use it. Um, I think this is the one that probably people might use the most because uh, you get pretty decent uh, perk if you equip it as your main hand because you get extra this thing, which is really really handy for your OTK stuff. Because a lot of times OTK you tend to use uh, 
cavalier. You tend to use like the uh, you know gun oriented setups, right? I mean not guns, uh, spear oriented setups, right? So it kind of helps out, right? It's pretty handy. Or even like the likes of Aspara as well, right? If you use that, so it is pretty nice having uh, this thing. Mm. And then we have Luo gun, gun face. For some reason, I keep think saying that it's a gun because it kind of looks like a gun to me, and I keep mistaking it as a gun, but it's a goddamn fist. So for this, for this weapon, I think the most I've seen was only three. I don't think you run more than three. So far, I've seen only maximum of three. There are a lot of uh, instances where they run I like in between one to three. Really, it just really depends on. Uh, what's that? It really just depends on how many you have, really. And then you just use how many you want to bar, basically, right? So if you have three, you can just use three, right? Because I think the uh, if you want to farm bars, you need like three of them or something. And then you use like Lucifer main summon and all that shit with the 150 gold moon. You know, it's all that stupid bullshit, right? Yeah. So you only have you only use this up to three. Uh, this is Summer Shiva's weapon. Is it the Ogi oriented type of weapon? Yes, it is. So it's okay, I guess, if you want to run Ogi stuff with this. It's alright. Uh, this is uh, Yo's weapon, I think. Yep. This one is... Uh, it's actually not too bad too, though. This is this weapon is actually not bad as well. You can kind of have one of them. Uh, what's this? Who? Strum Summer's weapon. Looks pretty shite. But you can get that as well. So it's not so bad. I mean, to me, it's kind of whatever, though. Because a lot of times I see like when it comes to like light grids, a lot of times like a, the, the weapons are very very like fixated to like a specific few. You don't really see like a lot of like you know random stuff like these you know kind of shit. <laughs> Maybe you can kind of use that as like the, the pseudo like like the, the filler put like think of this as like a filler weapon maybe if you do not have like specific weapons and shit. Yeah, I think same goes for this as well, you know, it's, you know, you get like a lot of HP, right? You got a lot of HP, you get some garrison, yeah, if you need that kind of weapon, yeah, sure, why not, right? If you already have it maxed out, if not, then just ignore it, I suppose. Uh, this one you can ignore, this one is uh, Pina's again, oh no, Shitori. And you can just reduce that, it's pretty shit. <laughs> okay, Ivory Arc is also another very very important weapon to have when it comes to uh, a primal setup for light so you definitely want these if you're trying to like tackle raids that requires you to have some hp because this one is the one that uh, gives you uh, the hp and it gives you the crit so if i recall correctly if you use two of these and you have a full Lumibrig luo summon you should have 100 percent crit if you only have two of these, it's like what ninety eight percent or something. Like if you go double uh, primal, so a lot of times people tend to uh, the most you really want is just two of these. Two is already more than enough. But on some specific cases, they 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 are really reliant on a crit, and then they are I don't know they're running like a babu's primal or whatever kind of thing, right? And then they use like three of these. <laughs> I've seen some people use three of these, but I don't think you really need that. You need to go that far though. Two, two a lot of times is already more than enough. Uh, you can ignore that. This one, you can typically ignore that. This is uh, Christmas Mary, right? You can typically ignore this as well because it's pretty shit. Um, class weapon, you can ignore. Class weapon, ignore. Ignore. This is uh, Conan's class, uh, event weapon. Militus weapon, I think I already mentioned it earlier. Just keep, don't reduce. Uh, this one you can ignore, this one you can ignore, this one you can ignore, this one you can ignore. Makura's weapon, yeah. It's okay, but I don't think a lot of people really use this weapon yet. Like, even a high-end grid, I don't think they really use this yet, though. <laughs> it sounds okay, right? Because you get damage cap and this shit, but... You already have, uh, Harmonia anyway, so there's really no reason for you to go for that uh this one is okay for a main hand i guess because you know you get that and you get extra echo sure why not right but for the most part i think you don't really need that anyway this one you can ignore 
What's this? Is this some character? Oh, this is fucking new. Uh, yeah, you can ignore that. <laughs> you can ignore that. I already explained that. Then the chef stuff. Uh, this one, class weapon, you can ignore. This one is event, you can ignore. I think this is... Is this a character? No, this is a event. Is this a character? Light Greya's weapon. Is this good? It's kind of whatever. Katana. Huh. Yeah, you can typically ignore this. You can ignore that as well. This one, I... Yeah, this is Monica, Summer Monica's weapon, right? Yeah, you can practically, uh, practically ignore that as well. You can ignore that, ignore that, uh, ignore that. Uh, yeah, you can ignore that as well. Ignore that. I think the Metatron already explained. Uh, this one, ignore, blah, blah, blah. Ignore, ignore. What is this? Is this an event weapon? Yes, it is. You can ignore that. Guild War, you can ignore. This one is... What is this? Is this... Oh, Halloween Mugen. Yeah, you can ignore that as well. This one, class weapon, you can ignore. Ignore. Uh, I think this is an event weapon as well. No? Rosamia, really? It looks so bad, though. <laughs> yeah, it looks so bad, dude. Yeah, I think you can just ignore that for now. This one you can ignore, this one you can ignore, this one... Is this Yukata? Yeah, Nukata Naru's uh, weapon. My god, this looks so bad as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can typically ignore that as well. Uh, you can ignore that. Uh, Grand Kag's weapon. This Grand Kag's weapon, I think you only use that for main hand as well. Because the weapon skill is kind of whatever, to be honest. Yeah. You typically just use this as main hand to be honest Because I feel like the main hand You get uh, quite a bit out of it Because you get uh, s quite a huge ogi And then you get uh, green pot as well So that's pretty handy uh, This one is... Uh, what's this? Is this a event weapon? Oh, Arulu light Wow, that's so bad as well, you can ignore So proving grounds So proving grounds, once again, you just grab one of each This is the skill cap one Alright, you can typically just uh, use this if you want some extra skill cap, it's pretty alright. Um, wait, does Light not have a second Proving Ground weapon yet? <laughs> I actually didn't know that. <laughs> I thought we already got it, guess not, eh? But yeah, you typically just, I mean, even if they did get one already, uh, get one in the future, you probably just have one each anyway. You should be fine with one each, it's okay. Uh, this one you can uh, already explain. This one is what? Metera Holiday, you can ignore this. And then uh, this one I think is ignorable as well. Yes, you can ignore this as well. Kubira's weapon. Uh, what is this? Wow. Damn, I don't recognize this at all. <laughs> uh, ignore that, ignore this, ignore this. Oh, this is Nehan's weapon. So Nehan's weapon is like the, you know, supplemental and skill damage cap kind of thing. So for this, usually it caps out if you're going double, uh, if you're going double primal, it caps out at two in a way. You don't really need to have more than two for the most part when it comes to this weapon. And I don't think you really want to use, at, use it at one either. Just use it at two or some shit. If not, just don't use it at all, I guess. Uh, this is a uh, Robomi, I think. Yeah. Looks pretty shit, you can ignore. This one is a event weapon, you can ignore, ignore. Astral is uh, one of those things where you get fire, you're, you're part of your progression kind of thing. If you do not have, what's that? If you do not want to get it, I don't think that's a big deal either. Excuse me. So is this is kind of like uh, one of those things as well, that gives you like what, skill cap or some shit, right? Yeah, so you have a skill cap and uh, if you already have like Ultima or whatever, typically you can just ignore this. You don't really have to use this to be honest, just because of uh, this is just skill cap and it doesn't really stack with uh, Opus and your Ultima or whatever. Yep. So it's good to have at the beginning, but late game typically you can just ignore. Uh, class weapon you can ignore, 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 ignore all this, ignore. This is Zoe's weapon. So Zoe's weapon, I think people only use it for like ogi stuff anyway yeah just use it for ogi stuff i don't think they really put in more than one to be honest so yeah uh this weapon i think i already mentioned it in the past earlier 
Uh, this is Grand John's weapon. Uh, Grand John's weapon is pretty much useless these days. You don't really use these anymore. It's like you only use it just for the sake of the uh, progression when like there's no reason for you to use that these days anyway when you can typically just use that on your opus if you so desire anyway. And the only other thing this gives is just multi-attack and it's kind of pointless. So yeah, this weapon is pretty shite. You just wait for uh, the cage or some shit, I suppose. But I don't even know if people really would use that. This is Christmas Lily, I think. Yep. Looks pretty shit. You can ignore that. This is uh, Sarunan's weapon. You can ignore as well. You can probably reduce this too if you want to. Uh, this one you can ignore. This is the... the Akaram weapon if you want to use it by all means this is the crit one just use it if you want to uh, ignore all this I already explained that this one is uh, who is this no full limit break yet oh hell mel summer ah uh, that's shit anyway uh, ignore that ignore this star weapon so this is the Akaram weapon if you have it great if you don't have it sad you typically want to slot this in anyway if you have it uh, leveled. So, yeah, just use it whenever. And wow, there's a lot of uh, Guild War stuff here. So ignore all this Guild War stuff. Class weapon, ignore, ignore. I already explained this thing. Uh, this is uh, Clarys. Christmas Clarys. And that's shit. No full moment break yet, but you see double, uh, dual elements like this. Wow, so good. Uh, this is a Xeno one. This one is Event, I think. Yeah. Event, class weapon. This one is someone's weapon. Whose weapon is this? Danwa's weapon. Oh, that looks pretty shit too. Uh, this is uh, Ellie's weapon, I think. Yeah, Halloween Heli. Looks pretty bad as well. Alright. Yeah, ignore that. Ignore this. Ignore this. Uh, yeah, this is the OG uh, fucking... What, what was the fucking... I don't remember <laughs> the uh the the fucking you know the Xeno stuff <laughs> the, the OG Xeno's weapon yeah you can ignore that though if you want uh Opus is self explanatory this is the hair potato valentine I think yeah you can uh you can typically ignore that too uh Bartoda's weapon you can ignore this one you can ignore this one typically you can ignore as well uh, class weapon you can ignore, Cl gold moon weapon ignore, ignore, ignore. This one is chi Christmas chicken, I think. Is it Christmas chicken? Yes. But uh, it's not really that uh, important to have. I mean, if not, then you just use it as a main hand, I suppose. Other than that, there's really no point for you to use this weapon, to be fair. Yep. Uh, ignore that, ignore that, ignore this. Uh, yeah, you can typically ignore that as well. I know this is a character's weapon, but you can ignore that as well. I have no idea who this is. Oh, it's an event weapon. You can ignore. Ignore. Xeno already explained it. This one is someone's uh, weapon, but I think you can kind of reduce it either. There's no full limit break yet, but I don't think it's going to be that OP anyway. But if you want, you can just keep it for now, but it looks really bad. This is uh, Lady Grey's weapon. Yep. And you can reduce this. This is fucking dog shit. Uh, ignore that. Ignore all this Ultima. Uh, ignore Valentine Sword. Who's Valentine Sword? Oh. Yeah, you can ignore that. You can ignore this. Ignore this. Ignore this. This is uh, Valentine Val uh, Angloville. You can ignore that too. Uh, this is uh, Percival. Like Percival's weapon. I think you can ignore as well. Uh, this one you can ignore, ignore. Who the hell is this? Oh, Mishra. You can ignore as well. And then and Zeno. And that's it. Yep, that's all. Wow, that's a lot of weapons. My goodness. Yeah, so I think that's... That's really all I can say about the, all these weapons. I mean, we technically kind of went through everything already. So a lot of times, like... When it comes to... The, uh, the weapons... For light as well like you only use it for like either main hand purposes or you fill in like as part of your grid kind of stuff other than that it's just like just put it aside i guess 
But yeah, as usual, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys find this helpful, uh, this video series helpful. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Bye.